Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, a few days ago I did a video and it was called Is it possible that we have sex in our dreams? Now, I hope I put that into a light sort of humorous approach, okay? Because this can be a quite serious thing for some people. We've got to remember here that in our subconsciousness when we're asleep, sometimes we do have that control but a lot of times we don't control what was done in our dreams correct it's like a movie that we watch even lucid dreams are not able to be controlled as who is there and how we interact with them so today I want to do a part two on that and this one is called do we have sex in heaven so if you haven't watched the first one, please go and watch it as well because that was a few days ago, okay? So in heaven, we've got to remember that we are no longer physical beings. We don't have skin, we don't have fingers, we don't have hair, we don't have material clothing or jewellery or chairs that we have to sit on. We don't have all that anymore. We are now energetic beings that exist and also in heaven what i discovered in my own personal experience we can bilocate which means that we can not only be in this situ this space um oh gosh let's just go there technically and scientific we don't occupy space in one part mm. but we can also <laughs> be in a different location at the same time filling that space as well as where we were so it's called bilocation this is what i believe are doppelgangers by the way okay so when we're doing when we're in one part of space or distance and our subconscious is in another space occupying that space as well but in heaven we are energetic beings which means we don't fill space we are space and in that knowledge of how this operates we can be anywhere at the same time so when i met people in heaven and they were presenting as male or female in clothes who had certain facial expressions and certain hairstyles certain fashions that they wore it doesn't mean that I was physically seeing them. It's because everything there is energy. Like, ha ha ha, a projection. It's like that movie screen where it's only pixelated from my own perception. So we do have feelings and we do have thoughts in heaven today I want to climb a mountain so therefore as soon as I put out that intention I can be climbing the mountain if we had that suggestion or thought or intention of I want to go and do some ooh, 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 with another person okay let's go there what happens that other person also must consent yes but ultimately sex is not the same as it is here okay there's no climax if you want to call it that okay there's no interbeing like penetration because in heaven there's no physical being to be a part with so if i put my hand up here and i put my other hand up here on earth my hands connect separately but next to each other in the same space right but in heaven our bodies interact and become one like that but they're intermingled together it's called bilocation if you want to go and check this out so we don't have sex in the same way that we have here on earth okay it's different up there okay it's it's not as intimate like here on earth because in heaven 
everything is already intimate together okay I was intimate and I could see inside and be the mountain I could be inside and be that duck that I've spoken about before I can be intimate and be inside another person and as I was that person I turned around and I saw myself Linda observing from a distance so we can project our thoughts to anything and anyone that we want to and that's why I've got a video out there it's called uh, what are the chairs for in heaven why do we use chairs in heaven it's called something like that chairs in heaven okay because in heaven that's where we sit and we contemplate and when we contemplate and we think about something okay so let's just think about the flowers behind me let's just say these were real trees right behind me and I'm thinking about these flowers instantly I'm part of those flowers I'm inside the flowers and I'm one with the flowers and that's why we pause and we sit on these chairs so we concentrate on the flower and now we're the flower and as we look because we can see even though flowers don't have eyes we can see okay but I can see Linda in her white shirt sitting here in front of me talking in fr to this box that is her computer wow so there are those in heaven that try to have sex with others but it doesn't work the same as here on earth okay and it's not intimate because nothing is intimate there because everything is one under universal law number one it says everything is connected everything is one so therefore there's no privacy there's no seclusion there's no isolation there's no singular because everything is a collective of energy hope that clarifies guys i've got my tip jar below if this has helped you today have a great day and i'll talk to you all soon bye